Good morning students. Today we will discuss errors in measurement. First one is static error also known as absolute error represented as epsilon 0. It is the difference between measured value and the true value of unknown quantity. AM is the measured value and AT is the true value. Therefore, epsilon 0 static error is equal to AM minus AT. Next is the relative or percentage error. So, it is a ratio of absolute error to the true value of the quantity to be measured. Epsilon 0 divided by 80 into 100. Therefore, epsilon r is equal to am minus 80 divided by 80 into 100. Next, we will discuss types of errors in measurement. First one is gross error. Second one is systematic errors. Systematic errors are mainly three types. Instrumental errors, environmental errors and observational errors. And third one is random errors. So first we will discuss gross error. These are basically human errors caused by the operator using the instrument, recording and calculating measurement results. The instrument may be good or may not give any error, but still the measurement may go wrong due to the operator. Some of the reasons are improper use of measuring instrument. For example, using 0 to 100 volt range voltmeter to measure 0 0.01 volt. Incorrect adjustment of instruments. For example, zero and full scale adjustment of instruments etc. These errors can be avoided by taking two or three readings by different observers and also great care should be taken while doing the experiments. Next one is systematic errors. So first one is instrumental errors. Such errors are inherent in the measuring instruments because of their mechanical structure. Example, friction in bearings of various moving parts, irregular spring tension in analog meters, calibration errors due to aging, faulty display circuit in digital instruments, etc. So these are avoided by Applying correction factors after determining the magnitude of instrumental errors. And also calibrating the measuring instruments frequently. Second one is environmental errors. These are mainly due to external conditions affecting the instrument. Parameters such as temperature, pressure, humidity, dust, magnetic and electric fields, etc. can affect the performance of the instrument. These errors can be avoided by using equipments which are immune to these effects and also using instruments in controlled conditions of pressure, temperature, etc. Also we can provide proper electric and magnetic shield. Next is observational errors. Such errors are introduced by the observer. The most common error is the parallax error introduced in reading a meter scale. These errors can be avoided by Providing a mirror beneath the scale and a knife-edged pointer. Last one is 
random errors. As the name suggests, no specific reason can be assigned and precaution could be taken to avoid these errors. The effect of random errors is minimized by measuring the given quantity many times under the same conditions and calculating the arithmetical mean of the values obtained. Thank you.